Hello everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded, here with me t Addict. Hope you guys are doing well, happy Monday. Today it is Friday, ooh, a Friday, yay, uh, pub night in Stardew Valley, and we're going to be exploring and doing some stuff today. It's Marlon's birthday, I have no idea what he would like as a birthday gift, but you know, we'll think of something to take him. And we, uh, we have a couple of things to take care of today, we have to go visit the wizard. Uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow, beautiful sunny day, lovely. And uh, fortune teller for today, spirits are very happy. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, we got to visit the wizard so he can teach us some magics. Um, and we have to go to the uh, abandoned forest, the abandoned like vineyard in the in the secret woods, and see if we can find this bear. Yeah, something about that. Okay, so dear Bonnie, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. Hope you find it as interesting as I did. Wow, a bream. Thank you, Demetrius. That's so kind of you. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do for today. And then obviously it's Friday night and the feeling's right. So we're going to head to the pub tonight and share our home brewed ales with everybody, which should make everybody very happy. And um, so that'll be fun. We can hopefully improve our relationships with people. If Sophia is at the uh, pub tonight, we will remember not to give her beer. Okay, so these guys are still just growing, that's fine. Um, and then in my inventory I also have this golden mask that we need to donate, as well as these artifact troves that we need. Uh, I think we're going to have the blacksmith open for us, so we can do that today as well. Before we do any of that, let's of course uh, go and check on our animals. So. <laughs> a new chick hat it hatched it looks odd let's call it monkey here's little monkey <laughs> so little monkey is our new boy chicken uh monkey seems curious but a little cautious it's a strange new world yes it is uh so monkey is gonna lay some different kinds of eggs when he grows up but uh yeah he's a little void chicken and he's going to uh, get us, oh, I might actually put that in the fridge. He's going to get us lots of money. And he's a key, key ingredient into becoming friends with Krobus. Uh, did I say hi to the rest of my animals? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, Krobus down in the sewers really loves void egg mayonnaise. Yeah, let's actually say hi to everybody. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, once he grows up and starts laying eggs and we can start making void mayonnaise, we can start really honing in on that friendship with Krobus, which would be great. Hello, everybody. Good morning. It is a cold, snowy Friday, but you're all snug and warm in here, which is great. Uh, the sheep don't look like I can, I can get any more wool off of them today. And we have goat's cheese in our inventory, which means I think we're just milking the cows today. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. I'm kind of sad that we haven't had any, uh, babies in this winter. I was hoping that some of the animals would breed during the winter and fill up our barn a little more rather than me having to buy more animals, but I guess not, that's fine. Uh, we also need to replace these fences over here at some point before the animals all come out of the barn, but we'll wait until it's closer to the first of uh, spring before we do that. So let's go ahead and just pop, how many of all of these do we have? So pine tar, uh, we have 11, maple syrup, we now have 10. Let's, let's do that, yeah. And then, oops, I also wanted to just put in those, yep. And, okay, so we can also come up here. Put that in the fridge. Do we want some more mayonnaise? Let's put one more mayonnaise in the fridge. And let's put that winter root in the fridge too. So we can start having a supply to make root platters. All right, now all of that we are going to sell. All right, and then let's jump on uh, bullseye. And let's first of all go down to see the wizard and the bear and see if we can find our way down there. I hope you all had a fabulous week or two. It's been a little while since I recorded Stardew because obviously I went away. I had a lovely holiday. Hello, what do you have? Pufferfish, cherry sapling, coffee beans. Oh, let's buy a coffee bean. Let's start growing some coffee. But yeah, I went away to Perth for five days, which was really quite nice. Had a nice little break. Uh, and now I'm back and 
I'm sure you all miss me very much, right? <laughs> but no, I hope you all had a had a wonderful week so far. Okay, so hi Rasmedius, how's it going? Good to see you. What you doing there? Just a moment. Sorry about the dogs. Hmm. I'm gathering herbs for your elixir. My elixir? Yeah, <laughs> that face is right. <laughs> have no fear, Bonnie. You have my assurance that it won't be as harsh as the first one you drank. Come, join me at the cauldron. Okay. One final touch. Magic is happening. The elixir is complete. With this, you can begin accumulating mana from the world around you, allowing you to cast some minor magic. What? Here, drink up. Is this part of vanilla Stardew Valley now, or is this a mod? Is this Stardew Valley expanded? I don't think I've ever done this. This elixir tasted like cotton candy. Much nicer than the other one, then. Yeah, <laughs> happy face. Good. Now when you're ready, join me downstairs in my study. Okay, I think, I mean, I think I'm ready now. First, a demonstration. Oh, does this give us like warping abilities? In which case, yes, I think this is Vanilla Stardew. Now you try. I, that was very vague, sir, but I'll give it my best shot. Oh! Oh, and your first attempt, no less. Marvellous. I look different. My hat's gone. My hair changed colour. Most impressive, Bonnie. Perhaps in the future I'll teach you some more spells. If your aptitude is as high as it seems, we may even explore some higher theory about the governing laws that bind our world. How exciting. Glad to see the prospect excites you. Absolutely. Someone please explain what's going on. <laughs> I can now use the Shrine of Illusions. Uh, no, I've definitely never done this before. Okay, so what What does that mean? What is the Shrine of Illusions? What can we do with this? This power, this un unlimited power. The ability to change your appearance is a great responsibility. Don't go too overboard. So what is this? Oh, we can just change my appearance like any old time. Oh, for 500 gold. Well, that's kind of nice. I mean, it's not something that I feel the overwhelming need to do right now. But maybe next year we'll, we'll change up our hairstyle and stuff like that. Could be fun. Alrighty, Bullseye. Well, uh, that, was a, that was a fun time with uh, the wizard. But now, let's go down and pick up this flower. Excuse me. I get the hiccups. And then let's go this way. Oh, we should see what hats are for sale too. And let's go over to, yeah, I think, oh, I wasn't supposed to bring more maple syrup, was I? Wait. Cryptic note. Uh, Grandpa Shed? Oh, wait, have I already done this? I don't even know. Let's just, I want to go over to that, that cave and see, see what's there. See if there's a bear in there and a chair as well. There are people with games. Okay. So has anything changed in here? No, but there's an ancient doll for me to pick up. All right. And some trash. Yeah, okay. So this all seems the same for now. Right, right. Hey, horsey, horsey. So, yeah, I want to go... Well, that way. Um, just going to pick up all the flowers while I'm here, naturally. Yeah, it's like up here, isn't it? It's like that random little cave where we went that one time. Oh, it's hard to get through here on a horse. Uh, okay, Bullseye, you might have to just wait there. Alright, I'll be right back. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah, so there's more maple syrup here. Hello? Ah, oh, so now this is a shop. Oh, fun. I can get a recipe for baked berry oatmeal. Oh my gosh, that sounds really nice. Um, but that's really expensive. Let's not spend half of our current gold on that. 
So we can get um, honey, syrup, tars, resins, mahogany seeds, and cave carrots from here. Sweet! Okay, so now... Raw, hello there. So now this is a little shoppy. Okay, well that's fun. And handy dandy. Um, it doesn't reveal anything about the mystery of the abandoned vineyard, which is a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, how did I get the horse up here? <laughs> yeah, a little disappointing, not going to lie, but hopefully we can uh, just continue working to uncover the mystery of that, that vineyard. Maybe when we become good friends with Sophia, she'll have something to share about it. Oops, let's pick up that holly. Wow, these woods in the snow are actually quite beautiful, aren't they? And then let's come over here. Just riding around a bit, just seeing what forageables we can collect. Because, of course, all of these, since we reached level whatever uh, foraging, all of these are now, like, super duper high quality. Oops. Uh, which means we're going to get lots of gold for them. Which is very nice. Okay, so now it's 1.30. So what we will do... <laughs> is I'm going to ride back home. We will pick up, sell some stuff and pick up uh, our, some ales for everybody, some beer and some pale ale. And then we'll head over to town. We'll go visit Clint and the museum. And then eventually it'll be time to head to the saloon for Friday night uh, beer time. So there we go. Hello, what do you got? You got a tiara. Ooh. Watermelon band, poker bow. Yeah, okay. Don't really need any of those things at this point, I don't think. Alright, let's head up this way. Hello, Andy. I would stop in and say hi, but I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm going to see you at the saloon tonight. Oh, you're right there. Oh, no, you're blocking the bridge. Bro. It's Yobadar and freezing today. Stay warm, farmer. It is. And also, can you move? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh god, alright, well, let's go this way then, I guess. Shit, let's see if Sophia's home, because there's no guarantee that Sophia will be at the saloon tonight. She sometimes is, sometimes isn't. So maybe we can use this opportunity to, to pop in and say hi. Hello. Uh, hi, have anything planned for the weekend? I need to finish my show. Ooh, what show? As in like a TV show? That sounds like fun. Would you like an ancient doll? Or a crystal fruit? Or holly? I don't know if you'd actually like any of those things, but hey, at least we talked to her and she wasn't like in tears today. So, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a positive. I think that was a fairly positive Sophia interaction. Oh, we have a little uh, cutscene here. I think this is a Sam cutscene. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's private property. Sam. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, sir. A youth these days. Sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. That's probably a little dramatic, Matt Lewis. Doomed? Really? You saw what happened, Bonnie. What do you have to say about this? Actually, I didn't, because I was picking up my dog. Uh. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> this is between you two. Ha! <laughs> Alright. I was making both mad. I'll let it slide this time, Sam. But I don't want to see you doing this anymore. Looky do poopy. Ooh. Got it? Yes. Pretty good boy. Aw, poor Sam. Yes, sir. Maybe I should have stuck up for Sam. Did you see that trick, though? That was rad. It totally was, man. <laughs> uh, okay, back on the horse. Oh my god, it's already ten past three. Okay, well we can, we should go over to the blacksmith now and crack open these artifact troves. We won't have time to get back home. Alright, so let's go for processed geodes and smash. Dwarf computer. Smash an anchor. I don't know if we've got that one before. And smash a helm. We've definitely got that one before. Okay, well I was hoping for like... More of the Dwarvish Scrolls. We're going to have to make an effort to find the rest of those at some point. So let's just pop in here. Hey Gunther, what's up? Um, oh, it looks like we had... Oh, we had already found the anchor as well. So we can only <laughs> pop in the mask. Yeah, because we've only got two of these guys. 
So I'm pretty sure there's another two scrolls we're meant to find. Ugh. So that's just going to take us a little while, isn't it? All right, then. Maybe I could... What time does the blacksmith shut? I don't know. Um, does it tell me on the map? Yeah, it does shut at four. Okay, I was going to say maybe I could pop back home via the rail carts and then quickly come back. Oh, yeah, and I was supposed to talk to this guy as well. Hello. Hey, kid, I need a lucky break. Why don't you bring me a rabbit's foot? I'll make it worth your while. Sure thing. Come back when you got a rabbit's foot on you, kid. No worries. Now I need two rabbit's feet, because I need one for a uh, community centre bundle and one for that guy. Whee, that's going to take us a little while. But all right, sure. Okay, what do we got here? Trying to keep the artificial alive. 165G to anyone who catches three perch. Uh -huh, nah. I'll pass on that one, thank you. Oh, whose birthday was it today as well? The Adventurer's Guild guy. Do you reckon he would enjoy a uh, rusty sword as a birthday gift? I mean, I've got one. We could try it out. <laughs> He's probably going to be like, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, let's just sell all those. Sell those. Sell that. Sell that. Yeah, let's see if he would want this artifact. Maybe it would be of, uh interest to him because he's the old adventurer dude or something. I don't know. Dougie, 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 Dougie. Hello, Papa. Okay, so let's go ahead then and let's grab from here. So we got five beers and let's grab a couple of pale ales as well. And then... Um, my coffee plant, I would like to... Oh, I'll plant that tomorrow. That's fine. Because I need to get it set up with a full, like, sprinkler system and everything. Let's ride. Let's go for a ride up to the Adventurer's Guild. Ooh, more forage balls. And wormies. Nice, another winter route. Cool. More wormies. Coal! Wow, that was exciting. Man, we haven't said hi to Linus in a while. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. My phone rang. I um, have booked into a class. It's very, like, outside of my comfort zone, so I'm quite proud of myself. But I've booked into, like, a uh, an anti prenatal and antenatal class for expectant mamas. And uh, that was the nurse who's going to be running the uh, class just giving me a call because I only inquired about it this morning. So she, she was giving me a call just to chat about it and everything. Hey, man. Oh, my God. I just accidentally gave him a piece of coal for his birthday. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Marlon. I didn't realize I was meant to give you this, dude. Yeah, whoopsies. Uh, that was my bad. I was thinking. I was not thinking. I was thinking about my... Uh, <laughs> phone call and everything and then I didn't realize I was holding a piece of coal and now he has it. Oh, now I feel bad. Sorry, Marlon. I'll make it up to you, boy. I promise. I could have even given him a beer. He probably would have enjoyed a beer. Anyway, yeah, so I've, um, so I sent off an inquiry today because I saw an ad on Facebook and I was like, I need to, A, I need to, I want to make some like mummy friends in my area and B, I really want to do some classes to prepare for birth and baby. So, yeah, that was what that phone call was. That, that's, I've had three phone calls today. That's like unheard of for me. <laughs> My phone usually never rings. And when it does, I usually never answer it. But a little different today because I was actually expecting phone calls. Anywho, okay, so it's Friday night and uh, we are at the saloon. Let's just go ahead and pick up this crocus flower. And let's go ahead and jump in and talk to everybody, share some drinks. Let's talk to Penny real quick, or unless that's Leah. No, that's Penny. Your friends with Linus. He lives in a tent up near the mountains. Everyone ignores him, the poor guy. He actually is really nice, just a little odd. It must be so cold to live in a tent this time of year. Do you know what? Yes, I am friends with Linus, and you just reminded me that as my phone was ringing, I was about to talk to him, and I forgot. Hey! Hey, Emily! Buddy, it's great to see you! It's great to see you, too. Gus, may I make Buddy a drink on the house? Sure, Emily. Bonnie, enjoy the free drink. We appreciate the business you've given the saloon. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm terrible for, for, for saloon business. Here's our cocktail menu. Which drink would you like? Star Drop Saloon cocktail menu. Oh my gosh. Okay, so shooting comet. Whiskey, lime juice, 
mint leaf sugar, lunar horizon, gin, sugar syrup, lime juice. Oh, that sounds good. I love gin. Uh, Rosette Nebula, vodka, mm, cranberry juice, lime juice, the Big Bang, white rum, dark rum, orange. Oh my god, that sounds dangerous. Red Moon Tequila, orange juice. Let's do the gin. You must really love your gin, Bonnie. The Lunar Horizon is strong. I do really love my gin. I miss gin. <laughs> I haven't had gin since... I don't even know. <laughs> Obviously, I'm pregnant, so I haven't been drinking. <sighs> but yeah, I'm terrible for business here. I rock up once a week and, like, share my homegrown <laughs> ales with everybody instead of letting them buy stuff from the bar. <laughs> Voila! Here you are, Bonnie. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be drunk now, aren't I? Yeah. How was the beverage? It was amazing! <laughs> You're welcome, Bunny. Round of drinks over here, please! Coming right up here! Looks like my night is about to get busy, Bunny. If you need me, you know where to find me. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks so much, Em. It's so nice. Gin on the house? It's one way to make me happy. Alright, now we're actually here. And yeah, we're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I have a pale ale, my love. You're welcome. Hi, Pierre. Have a beer. There you go. Oh, Sophia is here. Hi. I try to be social every so often. No better place than the saloon. Agreed. I don't know what to give you. I don't have anything that you might like. We'll just, we'll just not give her anything. Okay. Hi, Mummy. I special order my painting supplies from the Fern Islands. They're expensive, but it's important to have high quality tools. For sure. I'm in. Ah, uh, you're already at the saloon. Have a pale ale. You're welcome. Hi, guys. Can't talk to you till you're done dancing, I know. Hi, Victor. He's playing Pumpkin Smashers. Can't talk to him till he's done. Um, hi, Sam. Let's buy Sam and Joja. Make up for not sticking up to him today. There you go. Hi, Sammy! No, don't let him win. One thing I've learned living here, everyone stares at you if you look different. Well, you know, that's very common wherever you go. Hello, Clint. Good to see you, bro. Have a beer. This is a fun gift. Thanks, you're welcome. Hello? You're even you're here. Oh my gosh, have a pale ale. This is thoughtful of you. You're welcome. Hi, Mel Lewis. Uh, sure, here's your extra beer. Hi, Marnie. Can't talk to her. She's busy. Uh, have a beer, my love. You're welcome. Hi, Susan. Do you tend to go to the saloon on the weekends often? No. In the winter, it's tempting. A little bit of cider or ale knocks the chill right out of my bones. Agreed, but, um, yeah, no, I don't tend to come that often. Okay, bye, Sophie. I love you. Um, time seems smooth slower here. When I lived in the city, the year went by so fast. Have a pale ale. Oh no, Robin and uh, Demetrius are leaving. This is for me? Marvellous. Blah, 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 blah. You can have a beer. You're welcome. Hi, Gus. Hi, Em. I really enjoy seeing you too. Okay, yeah, people are leaving now so I can actually speak to them. Hi, I wonder what I should pick up at Pierre's during my next trip. I'm thinking spaghetti. <gasps> you like spaghetti? Wait, I'll buy you one. Wait, 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 come back, I bought you spaghetti! This is totally normal behaviour. Oh my gosh, and we have a uh, another cutscene. Oh! <laughs> I love this cutscene. Marnie, we can't. If word got out, it could undermine my position as authority in this town. Of authority, I mean. You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know. But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Hey guys, what you doing? Just hanging out here? Gah! Bonnie, you overheard everything, didn't you? Yeah, but I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, Bonnie, I won't forget this. You're welcome. I don't really think you deserve it, Mayor Lewis, but uh, I'll respect Marnie. Why were you hiding there anyway? Because, uh... I like to hide in bushes. Clearly. <laughs> wait, wait, come back. I got you spaghetti. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so glad you love it. 
Do you ever make spaghetti? It's delicious. I'll share my recipe for the sauce with you sometime. So does that mean if I marry, or when I marry Victor, he'll make me spaghetti all the time? Because I'm not going to lie, I would like that. Thanks for stopping by. I need to think about something other than legumes for a while. So what have you been doing lately? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Cute hat, Robin. Um, do you guys still want beers even though you're not at the saloon anymore? Wait. There you go. There you go. Okay, we shared all of our beer. Good job, me. Uh, where's my horse? Oh, back over here. <laughs> I was like, I was sure my horse was around here somewhere. Okay, so that was a that was a successful night at the saloon. Plus, we busted Marnie and Lewis, which you know we all knew that was going on already. So whatever. It's not really big news, is it? <coughs> oh yeah, I've just remembered. Were we? How? What? What did we still need for Grandpa's shed? Had we done it? Or was it iron? I think we were still needing iron, weren't we? And I've literally only just remembered. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, 50 iron bars. Okay, let's see how we're going with that. Uh, we, we could have done some iron collecting today. I just didn't even think of it. It did not cross my mind. So we could definitely do that tomorrow. Um, we should have a look-see, though. Because we might actually have 50. 52! Check it out! Let's go drop this in! Oh my gosh, this is a huge occasion! We're about to finish the ingredients for Grandpa's Shed. Iron, 50 iron bars is a pretty massive investment, not gonna lie, but like, this is exciting. Okay. Hey there! Here we go! Doop 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 doop! I'm guessing that means we'll be visited by Robin tomorrow, I'm hoping? We'll have to see. I've never done that before, obviously, so, uh, very exciting. Alright, uh, I just walked in, I just rode my horse into a wall, so I wasn't paying attention. Alright, you go there, lovey. Uh, we can put those in there. Now, yeah, so this coffee bean seed, um, I would like to start growing a nice coffee crop down in the greenhouse, so... How do you make these things again? It's like you, you and you, I think, to make a, yeah, an iridium sprinkler. Obviously, this is a little bit overkill for now, considering we only have one coffee bean. Oh, maybe we should get some speed grow as well, so the coffee grows really quick. I know it's getting late. I'm busy. <laughs> uh, quality fertilizer. Okay, how do I make speed grow? Uh, pine tar and a clam or oak resin and coral for deluxe speed grow. So let's just do the normal one. There we go. And then, yeah, that'll help the coffee to grow quickly. And then we'll be able to get a full, like, setup of coffee growing in here, which will be very, very nice. <laughs> Still can't believe I accidentally gave Marlon a lump of coal for his birthday. Imagine receiving a lump of coal for your birthday. He'd be like, what did I ever do to you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It was a complete accident. All right. So, yeah, let's pop that there. Let's pop that there. I know, I know, I know. We're going to bed, I promise. And then, yeah, we've got that starting to grow. So that is excellent. do 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 be. Just put this random piece of wood in there. Managed to collect another four winter roots today, which is great. We can make some root platters. Yeah, so we'll definitely, we'll still need to get some more iron. Because <laughs> I just gave away, like, all of our iron. Um, so we can still maybe do some mining tomorrow, depending on the luck stats and everything. 9,000 gold. Happy with that. And today is Granny Evelyn's birthday, I believe. So we'll have to give her a very special birthday gift. Okay, so yeah, Granny Evelyn's birthday today. Very nice. Let's go ahead and check the forecast. Beautiful sunny day and the fortune teller. Very displeased. Oh, great. Well, we won't go to the skull cavern. <laughs> I checked all over the... I checked over all the materials you gathered. Good job. You did your part. Now I'll do mine. I work fast, so the shed should be refurbished tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing because that's a big job. 
Yay! And it looks like a lot of our winter crops have grown here. So we're going to be able to... You scared off 20 crows? Good job, little lady. Uh, yeah, we're going to be able to sell a bunch of this. For a bunch of gold. Okay, there we go. Nice. I did see we have mail as well. I'll check that in a minute. Hello, everybody. Okay, let's just uh, grab everything lying on the floor here. Hi, little monkey. Okay, and then let's go. You, 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 and you in there. Wonderful. No rabbit's feet, but that's okay. Hello, everybody. Say hi and good morning. And then we can grab out all our bits and bobs. So, okay. Milk you. Milk you. Shear you. Milk you. Oops, I missed. You, and then, excuse me. There we go. Boop. Okay, so we're going to get a nice haul today, which is really, really quite exciting. Let's go ahead and also pop these into there. They can be spun. This little egg I'm going to pop in the fridge because why not? It's just a tiny little normal quality egg. Okay, so... Yeah, so these things... Should we craft into these? I feel like we should. We are going to be selling 100 winter seeds. <laughs> that should get us a nice amount of gold. Okay, what do we got in the mail? Hey, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe with my with you that my pappy used to make. It's important the fresh the fish is fresh. Willy, fish stew. Thanks so much. Hey, Bonnie, I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Lol, Shane, strange bun. Oh, cool. This is what we get after um, going to the tavern on a Friday night and sharing our, <laughs> our ale with everyone. The next day we get recipes. <laughs> Woohoo, totally worth it. I should actually take a quick look at our uh, social relations and see how those are going as well. And let's quickly pop down to our cave. Just see what's going on down here. See, I'm not too sure what we want to do today. Spirits being very displeased makes it a little tricky. We could... Yeah, we could definitely go, um, we could definitely go and see if we can get some iron just from the regular mines. That might be a good thing to do. And also have a look and see if we can find some of the dwarf scrolls, which I believe are actually most common on some of the upper floors in the mines rather than the lower floors. Because once we get the dwarf scrolls, then we unlock the ability to actually talk, talk to the dwarf guy. Which would be helpful and cool. So maybe we could do that today. I don't feel like going to the skull cabin. I'm still not recovered from our last very unfruitful trip. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, so let me just sell all of these. It's fine. So sell, 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 sell. Do we need a wild plum for anything? No, okay. Sell the plum. How many geodes have we got? Yeah, a few. We could have Clint crack those open for us, but I think I'll just leave it. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, let's just... Oh yeah, and Evelyn's birthday. Okay, so let's grab her a flower. Because Granny Evelyn loves a flower. So let's get her a daffodil and then we will head over and give this to her. And then we'll head up to the mines and see what we can find. That'll be alright. And then next time we'll have to figure out... Oh, uh, we've got like a whole town meeting going on. Okay guys, do you remember your lines? Yeah! <laughs> 
This is a fun cutscene as well. Ready? Action! I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. I, uh, uh. Cut! <laughs> I'm sorry! It's hard to remember my lines when her face is right in front of me like that. Hey man! Oh hey! Hey Shane! Check out my new camera! Jojico is having a video advertisement competition. The prize is 10,000 gold! Hey! I want you to be in this shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene a little more authenticity. Okay! And action! I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. Hey, Clint, you did it! I've just got to try a new Joja Blue Cola. <laughs> Look at him holding his cola. It's got three times the sorbital kick... The sorbitol for a thick, sweet blast, and it's cheaper than water. But, but, isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me! This is a very dramatic ad for soda. Have no fear, my dear. The world-class science team at Joja headquarters have determined that Joja Blue does not cause a significant erosion of the stomach lining. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? <laughs> Cut. Nailed it. Nailed it, Clint. Bravo. That was perfect. That was perfection. Oh, thanks for the help. Yeah, no worries, man. I did a lot. Really feel like I improved that picture. Clint? He's, <laughs> He's gone blue. <laughs> oh, this game's so cute. I love it. Also, when is, um, I forget, when's Christmas? Because we need to have a present for Jazzy. Uh, we still got a few days. Okay. We haven't been to see Evelyn and George in a while. Oh, and there's Haley. Hi, sweets. The only good thing about winter is that I get to sleep more. Like, every, at least 10 hours every night. Good for you. Yeah, we haven't been to see these two in ages. George has probably forgotten who we are. Oh, they're not even here. Hey, Alex. There's some weird people living in this town. Like that Sebastian guy. Why does he wear black all the time? I don't get it. Because black is cool. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Okay. Um, Saturday. Where would they be at 10.50am on a Saturday? Would they be in Pierre's? Oh, another cutscene. <laughs> oh, God. Is this a Sophia cutscene? Oh, no. It looks like a, an Andy one. Hey there, Susan. Oh, Andy, I don't see you that often at Pierre's. Jojo has a lot of cheap stuff, but they don't carry my favourite jerky. Speaking of which, mind grabbing the bag there for me? Sure. So the, these two have a little bit of a thing going on too, by the looks. Everyone in Stardew Valley is just like, in, in Pelican Town is just uh, hooking up, aren't they? Aww. Hi guys! Hi sweetie, buying supplies today? Yeah, Pierre always has what I need. Ah, Bonnie's here too. It's, it's a regular party in Pierre's today. Hey! Don't forget me! <laughs> what is this cutscene? Ah, oh, would you look at that? All the farms of Stardew Valley right here. Yay us! <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> wow, that was really cute. Okay, well, act in act actual fact, Pierre's is empty. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I was hoping to find Granny Evelyn. Where the heck is she? Is she down at the beach? This is severely cutting into mining time. Maybe over at the library? I don't know where she is. I mean, I'm sure they'll be in their house later at night, but I'm not sure how long I can get in there. Oh, is this, an <laughs> this is another cutscene. I think we're breaking our record. 
Those kids made a mess again. Oh my gosh, and now Susan's here. She really gets around. Ah, hello, Miss Bonnie. Apologies for the clutter. It'll be cleaned momentarily. What happened? Penny's normally good on these kind of things, but she was in a rush today after class. Oh, I'll help put the books back. You'll help put away the books? You can start on the right. Sure thing. Thank you kindly for the help, Miss Bonnie. I feel like Gunther's a bit of a cowboy. So it'll be like, thank you kindly for the help. Um, okay, so Harvey's here. And Susan's here. But no, Evelyn is not. Hey! That's cool. Whatever you say, dude. So where the heck is Granny Evelyn? It's your birthday, lady. I want to give you a flower. <coughs> if I can't find her at the beach, we'll have to go up and do some mining and then try to find her later. Hey, Elliot! It is uh, a little cold for outdoor exercise. Sorry if it's a little humid in the cabin. No worries. Uh, okay, so... We have a Nautilus shell, which is nice. Ooh, the game's lagging a bit. Sorry about the... The uh, stutter in my camera as I scroll and run around here. Should really rebate our uh, crab pots at some point in our lives, shouldn't we? <laughs> Haven't touched those in a while. Uh, okay, so it doesn't look like Evelyn and George are down here, but there's a lot of stuff for us to collect at least. Heaps and heaps of coral. Which is handy, because uh, this stuff goes into speed grow. Okay, then we got seaweed, which goes into sushi, so that's fun. Okay, so it's now 1pm. Oh, you know where they could have been? They might have been out by the uh, park to the north of town? Maybe. Okay, well, let's... um. There's fishing bubbles everywhere today. Let's just quite pop in back in their house real quick, see if they're there. And then if they're not, we'll just check up north. Nope, still not there. So, okay. Hi! May I help you? I want to be friends. But okay. Are they up here somewhere? Like around this fountain? Here's Jazzy and the kids. Let's say hi to Jazzy. Hey yo! Sometimes I look for crawdads in the river. Don't tell Aunt Money. But I fed one to a cow once. She loved it cool and hello dad's coming back soon i hope he brings me some toys oh hi penny that's nice you always talk a lot um okay so they're not up here <laughs> i can't find evelyn on her birthday this is devastating uh let's pop in and see victor see if he's home see if we get a cutscene doesn't look like we get a cutscene Mama's painting. Hello? Nope, he's not here. Nobody's home! This is ridiculous. I wanted to go mining today. Instead, we're just running around town trying to find Grandma. Grandma! Oh, Grandma, where'd you go? Uh, are you home yet? Nope. Maybe they're at Jojima? I don't think Granny Evelyn's the type to shop at Jojima, though. Nah, Jojo Mart's like empty. Okay. Hi, Susan. There is something special to writing letters. I agree. But I am a fan of technology. Okay, what we're we gonna do? Let's go up to the mines. <laughs> Let's just go down, see if we can collect some iron ore for the next two hours, and then we'll try to find Granny again. <laughs> oh dear. I am. Okay, so I feel like this is really reaffirming our theory that uh, bad luck days are actually sometimes luckier than good luck days. Because look at all this iron, and I'm finding, um, like, 
staircases fairly easily as well. Like, seriously. This is a conspiracy. I'm gonna have to, like, message Concerned Ape and be like, is this actually a thing? Like, should you sometimes go to the caves on unlucky days? Because it definitely seems like it's a thing. Although, of course, as I say that now, I can't find the ladder. Okay, well, it's almost 6 p.m. I think we'll call it a day there for our mini mining trip and uh, head back to town and see if we can finally uh, find Granny Evelyn. I don't know where she's been hiding all day, but hopefully by 6 p.m. at night, she's actually home. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to them. They've just gone missing. Maybe they got on a holiday, gone on a nice, like, warm holiday somewhere to escape the winter chill. Here she is. Hello. We've lived here for over 30 years. We've seen a lot of young people come and go. Your grandfather for one, bless him. <sighs> well, happy birthday to you, my darling. You remember my birthday? Thank you, this is lovely. You're welcome. Hi, George. How are you doing? Yep, fair enough. Okay, um, cool. So, now that I've finally done that, how are we doing? So, Linus, we're almost 10 hearts with. I haven't talked to him in ages, so I should go and see him. Victor, we are like almost to maximum hearts with. So, hello. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good. I reckon we're doing uh, pretty well here for maybe a spring wedding. I don't know. Could be a thing. We're also really close with Shane, mind you. <laughs> if we change our mind and want to marry Shane instead. Uh, we still need to do a lot of war work with Martin, the dwarf who we can't talk to yet. Morris, I don't care about. Krobus, yes, we, we, we need to make friends with him. Sandy and Claire, yeah, Marlon, we messed up badly by giving him a terrible birthday gift. Um, yeah, we've still got a lot of people we need to do some some serious friendship work with, but you know, we'll get there, and we're making good progress. We can we can focus on friendships more once we've done the whole like marriage thing, you know. Yeah. Okay, so let's head home. Let's clear out our inventory, and pretty much maybe call it a night. Uh, so, let's see, um, sell that. We found four Nautilus shells. How many, do I have one of those in my, uh, my chest over here? I don't, let's keep one. Okay. Right, so then we did collect 26 iron ore, which is good. Let's go ahead and get some of that smelting up. Just to, oops, uh, replace our iron supplies. Okay, then we got uh, some more of all of these. Now, we've still got 33 normal quality corals, so I think I'm going to actually sell these 13 iridium quality ones. Coral's not a hard thing to find, so I feel like we're safe selling that, and then we can always uh, start replenishing our stocks when... We run out of the really good stuff. Oop, hello. Sorry, just got a Facebook notification. <laughs> Something else I was thinking of doing today was actually, we've still got time. So let's just really quickly run down to our own quarry uh, down here. I don't, I don't even know if we can get there. The trees have taken over. Let's cut down this tree. Ah, yes, and here you can see I fixed the waterfall after it was completely broken <laughs> in the last episode, if you guys remember. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and clear this out uh, since we're here. And there's a little bit of extra iron here as well, so that's good. Oop. Plenty of extra copper ore as well, so we can at least make a bunch of cherry bombs. There we go. Yeah, just clear that out, keep it empty and plenty of space for things to spawn. And then I guess we'll call it a day here, going to bed at 8.50pm uh, on a Saturday night. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so yeah, our, our area here is a little overgrown. Let's just clear out the path a bit, shall we? 
Oh my goodness. Hey, crow. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just have that a little bit nicer. A little, uh... Grove of mahogany trees is still just hanging out over there doing its thing, so that's nice. And then we can put all that away. Okay. Cool. Ooh, diamonds! Diamonds! Let's sell these as well. Let's see how much gold we've got today. I think this is going to be a pretty good haul, considering, um, considering the 100 wild winter seeds that we sold as well. Let's see how we did. I'm excited. Go to sleep. Yeah, almost 12,000 gold today. Happy with that. That's, that's pretty good. All right then. Cool. So anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this one. It was a little, little more chill. Uh, less, less skull cavening. I think that was a bit of a nice break. But of course, at some stage, we're going to have to get back to it. Uh, but we should probably think about putting some more of our tools in for upgrades at this point in time as well. We've got um, some money back, which is nice. And if I put my watering can and my hoe in for a couple of upgrades, that'll just make the start of the new season a little easier. So that's something we'll probably do next episode as well. But if you have any other thoughts or suggestions for me, please, as always, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, you can like this video if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to the channel. You can hit that notification bell to stay in up to date with what I'm doing. As always, thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Their names are on screen now. I love you guys so very much and thank you so much for your support as always. Everybody take care and I will see you next time. Bye for now.